Hey folks, I'm on Lake Kiwi and we're going to see if we can find some crappie or crappie, depending on where you're from and how you say it. They all taste just as good. So I've got a series of boat docks that I have not scanned. I'm going to take you along with me, show you how I set up on my graph. And we're going to just go around and see what if we can find some fish underneath these docks. So let's get started. So up right now I've got my on my HDS7, I've got my graph contour plus map brought up. I leave my mapping on it so I can kind of see what's going on. If there's river channels, where the humps, where are the ridges, see where that kind of structure is. And then I normally keep my HDS12 carbon just like you see it with 2D down scan and with my side scan. So since I'm specifically talking about how I find fish under docks, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to pages. I'm gonna go to nothing but side scan. Now I'm gonna go over here on my menu side. I'm gonna go more options, view left, press right, and we're gonna go left only. Now the reason, the reason I'm only going left only is I'm in a pontoon boat squirrel and so i have my driver's side pontoon and then my starboard side and i got my port side my passenger side pontoon the passenger side the port side the left side of my boat is where i have my transducer mounted so that's going to get me as close as i can get to the dock i don't want to shoot on my right side because then i have the width of my boat before my side scan goes up underneath the dock before it hits the ground and then i don't have that capability of seeing those fish in the black and the water column so that's what i'm doing that, that's why you see i'm on the left hand side so now that i'm on left side scan everything left of my boat nothing to my right you got the water column you got the bottom i'm reading out to 80 feet i'm on 800 kilohertz you can go in the menu and i can change this frequency to 455 that's going to give me a stronger return. If you have a total scan transducer, if you're a Lowrance user, that may be the way to go, or it definitely is the way to go. Uh, I have the three and one, so I'm going to go right back in here and change this frequency to 800. Contrast, I'm on auto. You can, again, you can adjust that auto plus one, auto plus two. And you can turn off auto contrast and leave it on something manual but i usually keep it on auto um it it works really good on the on the side scan occasionally i'll bump it up depending on water depth and water clarity palette really whatever palette you like one is kind of a turquoise looking color um, i like that particular palette um, I've tried them, pretty much all of them. Two's not bad. I really like the number eight palette. It's gonna show up yellow on a hard return, more of a red on a softer bottom. And then so there, you know, anything, if that was fish, you know, that's gonna show up. You know, you got that little dot of yellow in it. Uh, I usually have that on my down scan that color palette number eight but i like the number six that kind of that amber brown color that's pretty popular across the board again there's 10 that's kind of a more of a golden tone but i like that lighter tone the blues aren't bad nine or eleven both blues one's a little brighter than the other but we're going to leave it on color palette six so we've got if i go into advanced settings surface clarity um I'll just turn that off, pick up every single little detail, off or low, it'll usually default to off. And then, so there we go, we've got our range, and I usually do the range at, six, at 80 or 60. If I wanna go, um, I can hit the icons at the bottom of the screen, and I can go to 60, or I can go back to 80, or even go more than that if I wanna go more than that. But on here, I've already got my depth programmed in with water temperature running 55.1 degrees. A depth, I'm running at 11 feet right now. So the main thing with side scan is you gotta be moving. 
So I'm going to, since I'm going to be pulling close to these docks, we're going to zoom in. I'm going to go 60 feet. I want to get as close as I can. It's going to be easier to pick the fish up in this water column. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start going around and I'm going to go counterclockwise, keep my port side to the dock. I've kind of drifted, so I'm going to move around here and start scanning. So let's get it done. Nice and steady and straight. So now I can see under. I'm passing pontoon boats, motor pontoon, pontoon, a bar that connects the fingers together under the water. Seeing some stuff here on the bottom. Looks like cables going down, tying to those docks. Haven't seen any fish yet, so we're gonna swing around on the other side. Now, as I turn, you're gonna see how the lines kind of turn. It's because it's the turn of the boat, reading that bottom, it's gonna kind of stretch things out. It's gonna distort them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull around. We're gonna run down this other side. And there's a lot of pontoon boats in this slip. This is a covered slip. Not an open slip, so we're gonna see if there's any fish kind of hiding up underneath here. Again, I'm reading 60 feet. I'm idling at 1.9 miles an hour. And I'm staying about five, four or five feet off of the off of these um, these boats over here. So you can see the motors, you can see the pontoons. There's the water column. That's all water column. That's I'm shooting out from the boat right here. Okay, I'm gonna have to start turning. So now I'm pulling right up beside this other series of docks. They're covered slips. A lot of pontoons, some cruisers. Just looking for some fish. So what I'm seeing again is I'm looking in here. I'm looking in the, this is where I focus. I focus in this black water column. Cause I'm all the way out. I'm shooting 30 feet under before I'm picking up ground. It's hard to see fish on top. Not impossible, it's just harder to see them. If I can pick them up in here, it's super easy to see them. They're gonna stand out. Just like all these little parts of the boat docks that are right here. You know, that's all pontoon boat, pontoon boat, uh, metal pieces connecting the, the different um, parts together. So again, I don't see any fish in there whatsoever. There's a lot of truth about 95% of the fish are in 5% of the lake. There's a lot of docks I've scanned that have absolutely nothing up underneath it. I'm in six feet of water and I'm gonna get deep real quick. So I'm coming right up beside another set of open slip docks. All of these are pontoon boats that you're gonna see coming up. So you'll see motor, pontoon, pontoon as I start scanning up around through here. So we're gonna start getting deeper. There's the cross members, those pontoon motor, they're back in the dock. These are deep slip docks, those pontoon boats. This one's coming a little closer to the cross member bar. And again, this is like two and a half inch or three inch square tubing that's welded in a big U shape underwater that holds all these dock fingers together. And that's the pontoon boat sitting in the slip and the fingers are in between each of these pontoon boats. Little small four foot fingers. Another pontoon boat, another pontoon boat. I'm seeing pontoon boats, I'm seeing the fingers. What I'm not seeing is fish. All right, I'm gonna head over and we're gonna scan another one. This is how I do it though. Okay, cause I'm coming up on another set of docks where I'm in 30 feet of water, 34 feet of water right now. Covered docks. Starting at the very end. They're, I'm passing them on my left hand side. They're, they're over here. And 
doing the same thing I did with all those other dogs, just looking, trying to stay as close as I can. Um, I do have the wind blowing this way, so I'm off a little further. That's what I'm looking for. Now that happens to be, um, if I touch that, that's a school. And that's, that's gonna be a school of crappy. I can see how big those dots are. Um, that's what I've been waiting to see. Now I didn't get them in the black. I got them in on the ground part. But when I blow up those fish, that's them right there. Now from where I, where I, my boat was positioned, there were 44 feet to the left and then 50, so 44 to 57 feet. I mean, 50 feet. So that, that school is, is about six feet from here to here. I'm gonna go ahead and get, kick it on back out. Clear cursor, let's just back up and see what we got. So there they were. That's the bars of the dock. And that's them right here. So they're, they're back up underneath there. It would take some dock shooting to reach those fish. Um, make another pass and see exactly what slipped. This time I'm gonna pay attention to the where the back of my boat was. We'll count the slips as we go. There's two open slips. If they were up underneath one of those open slips, that would be, that would be really easy. So here we go again, one more time. I'm trolling at two miles an hour, idling along at two miles an hour. Coming up to my first open slip now. That's the first open slip. Coming to the second open slip. Coming in display there in the second open slip right here. They're at the back. I'm gonna go to the other side of the dock and see where they at, see if they're closer, because even though I was pretty close to that dock, it's still 40 feet. So that's a pretty good little little cast like I can get back there 40 feet but I just want to check the other side over here so I get you it's like I'm gonna go right down through there and I think those fish are gonna be where that boat is up on the lift they should be right after that boat that's on the lift they should be unless they moved and these fish move even though they're schooled up, they don't always just hang in the same spot that you graph them. Okay, I backed up. Again, I'm backing up, or I did back up, so that you're seeing all that washiness on there. Now I'm pulling nice and steady, and you're gonna it's gonna clear up. And I'm gonna get straightened up with the dock so it doesn't distort things. Right now it's all distorted because I was turned. But now I'm going pretty straight. I'm going to have to make a turn when I get down here where these fish are. That's the only problem. Because I got this super yacht sticking out here. But that's the ends of the, the metal docks. And there's boat. And it should be right here coming up. Yeah, they're right there. From this side, let's see. How far away were they? Uh, 51 feet, so I'm closer on the other side of those fish. So I'm gonna run one more time. Right down the side of these fish. Everything to my left, looking for them white bright dots. Let's flip another color palette on us. Again, I like that one pretty good. Um, we'll see how, if, see if it shows up. How it shows up. So I like that one on down scan. I haven't really tried it on side scan, so we're doing something different together. We're gonna see what we see. It may not show up well at all. Uh, there they are, but I'm not crazy about that palette on side scan to me that's i would need to 
let's see I need to turn down the contrast a little bit maybe let's try the aqua there they are in aqua there they are in white there they are in green now that red looks pretty good they're shining bright right there and then there's another green with blue palette then there's your blue palette that green right there does pretty good i like that 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 made them pop and that's what i'm looking for what makes them pop folks that's how i do it so that's how i scan for under boat docks and there's a lot of scanning and you'll scan a lot of boat docks that that don't have bait fish nothing underneath them and then you'll get the one dock and it may be loaded with hundreds of fish and that's just that's what i found out and i don't know why some boat docks you'll have fish just packed underneath them and then there'll be a bunch along the same bank or in the same marina that doesn't have any fish up underneath it so but the key is finding them you can cast all of them take a lot of time to go in there and cast but if you can find where the fish are and start casting where they're at, that shortens the hunt time and hopefully lengthen the catching time. A little less fishing, a little more catching. Until next time, again, don't forget, if this helped you out, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much. God bless and we'll catch you on the water.